Hello, my name is Sam Doak. I'm an instructor in the Agricultural Technology Program at Virginia Tech. Today we're going to talk about fertilizing cool season lawns. There are two major kinds of grasses or divisions of grasses. You've got a cool season and a warm season. If your grass is brown by Thanksgiving, you've got warm season grass and you need to come back and listen to a talk later. If it's green by Thanksgiving, then you've got cool season grass and this talk applies to you. Fall really is the best time for you to fertilize your cool season grasses. It's a time of year when the grass is getting ready to go into the winter, so it's storing up all the energy in its roots, it's creating new roots. You get the most bang for your buck. You can put your fertilizer down, you're not gonna get a tremendous amount of top growth. The other side of that is, after the winter, when cool season grasses are coming out, they're putting out an awful lot of top growth because they're getting ready for the summer, trying to get all stored up for that. So if your fertilizer is heavy into spring, you're going to get an awful lot of top growth and sacrificing some root growth. So fall really is the best time to fertilize a cool season grass. If you think of SON, September, October, November, those are probably the three key months. You get the most bang for your buck. You want to put a little bit in spring, that's fine, but put most of your fertilization, 90, 80, 90%, something like that in the fall. You're going to get the most bang for your buck. Your plants are going to be healthy. You'll have strong roots. They'll come out in the spring great, and they'll survive the summer a whole lot better than if you fertilize an awful lot in the spring. The next thing we want to talk about is the proper amount to put down and the proper application. Most homeowners think if one bag is great, three bags must be brilliant. That's really not what you want to do. The plant can only take up so much nitrogen plant food at one time. And if you put down too much, it's going to take up what it can use and not use the rest, and the rest that's not used goes through the soil, off the soil, into some water source, and that's not really what we want to do. You want to follow the directions on the bags. Bags are pretty good. They will list a lot of different spreaders and settings to put in there. They're a really good general guideline to get you the right amount you need to put down. Next thing we're going to talk about is the proper way to apply fertilizer. You've got two different kinds of spreaders. You've got the broadcast spreader and the drop spreader. The broadcast spreader, you've got the blade that slings around in front, and you will see it as you spin it. As it spins, it's throwing the fertilizer out in a nice wide pattern. The downside to this is the wide pattern isn't uniform all the way across. You have a lot more fertilizer real close to the spreader and a lot less fertilizer farther out on the edges. So the secret to this is you want to overlap one uh, width by about one third. You know, one third in, one third in the other way, then you get a nice uniform pattern in there and it works out really good. Now the downside to these things, they sling it everywhere on sidewalks, driveways, it's not a real fine line of where it won't put it. So if it's on impermeable, impermeable surfaces like driveways or sidewalks, you want to make sure you collect that up or sweep it back into the grass where it's going to do some good. Because if you don't, it goes down to the storm sewer, right out to some water supply, and we really don't need that happening. The other uh, spreader we have is called a drop spreader. And if you notice here, you've got the gate that opens up right in between the two wheels, and the advantage to this is it drops a very uniform spread right in between there. Now the disadvantage is where it doesn't drop, nothing's going down there. On the broadcast spreader, at least I've got heavy in the middle, light on the end. This is you either have it perfect or you don't have anything on there. So avoid streaking. What you need to do is go two different directions, one half in one direction, one half in the other direction. So you get this kind of this little 90 degree pattern here so you don't have streaks if you've missed. If you miss a little bit and you cross it over, you won't be able to see it and your neighbors will be happy. The advantage of this is it's really precise so you can go right next to a driveway or right next to a sidewalk and it'll drop it only on the grass and now on the driveway and sidewalk. The downside is it takes a lot more time for you to do this, but it depends, do you want quick or do you want it very accurate? But it's your choice, but you want to make sure you apply properly and with the proper amount to get the most bang for your buck for your yard. 